apparently on 2022, uh, I brought a fight pack, which was the Matchbox Blue Highways fight pack, and I did. I already did a review video or an unboxing video of this fight pack, but the only problem was I kind of didn't like. Um, like the fight pack for some reason reason like in the video i just said the cars were just like totally unexpected uh under the camaro but now uh in 2024 i regret saying that because you see this fight pack right here is probably one of the best things i have ever bought in my life um we're gonna take a look at that why so let's have another close look at this and mainly I'm just showcasing this fight pack because I'm completely out of video ideas. So um, it would be really, really helpful if you um, put some ideas in the comments. So yeah, let's begin with the review. So starting off, this fight pack had the 2016 Chevy Camaro. Now, why did I really said in my older review that I didn't like prefer this five pack now mostly because you see this five pack consisted of around like consisted of a lot of daily life or daily driving cars that the cars that normally we or our family would drive like let's say this is like a family car like a fiat 500 it's just some crossover suv or this camaro it's not that fancy or at all like a like a Lamborghini or a Porsche so yeah it's just a convertible Camaro or even this classic for failing you know I'm not into those set of sort of things but recently on 2020 uh, recently yeah 2024 uh, I regret saying those stuff for, about this five pack because I honestly think this is one of the coolest five packs ever uh, came out for Matchbox because this one has a lot of like, seriously a lot of clean castings and some of these cars are really good for photography they're detailed quite well like let's take a look at the Camaro for a minute uh, here is the front the details are absolutely nice um, here is the side sorry I need to, let me add some light sorry about that yeah that's better sorry about that all right, we got a lot, of, a lot of light. So here is the side of my Camaro. Um, this is the convertible, convertible variant of the Camaro SS. So yeah, I have the hardtop variant, but that's from Hot Wheels, which is a bit rusty. Anyway, as you can see, the wheels are actually quite detailed, like as in, in a sense. Like you see, the ones from Hot Wheels, they look a bit cartoonish and all, but here, um, the, Matchbox, the Matchbox ones look quite realistic, which I quite appreciate. The interior here also does has a lot of details to notice, such as there is the steering wheel, there are the uh, pedals, there, there is the gear shifter, some cup holders, that's pretty neat by the way. Um, these type of cars normally are good for dioramas that are focused on mainly like buildings and all. Like, a, let's just say McDonald's drive through what, what would you really expect to see? Like, yeah, these type of cars right here, the ones that Matchbox usually make, normal daily driven cars, they're really good for photography. And there is the license plate at the back, which, is, which says Camaro, and that's actually quite neat they did it in a very different way what hot wheels would do i'm sorry for just comparing them again but what hot wheels would do is apparently they'll just put a hot wheels logo which is also cool and all if you compare it with mashbox that's totally different right here it looks quite realistic again there are the uh tail lights they look quite neat again the casting itself was really really detailed Let's take a look at the let's take a look at the back for a minute. This part. And there's a spoiler. Not even 
This is not a wing, by the way, it's just a small lip spoiler. Just, I just love this casting so much. All right, we've wasted five minutes, three minutes on this car. Next up, Ford Fairlane. Can we see this casting stadium, first of all? This is 1964 Ford Fairlane. This is the wagon of the, wagon variant of the Ford Fairlane. Uh, muscle car from Ford. This one here is a Ford Fairlane GT and uh, GD. And here, this is one is from Hot Wheels, by the way. Um, so, so let's just you know compare them. Mm, yeah, they're not the same um, cars. Apparently, I mean the same models. This one is from 1964. This one is from 19. 66 so uh, Three or four years apart so nothing really to compare but just to say this these are just from the same uh, Family line fairly. I, I don't know anything about classic cars or stuff. So uh, especially from the car especially cars that came out in the 60s, so uh, Please don't um, cringe out in the comments. Anyway, let's take a look at this wagon for for a few for a few minutes here. We have the classic Mashbox wheels I don't know what they're called but either way this casting right here has a clean look a red line coming down there there is some silver lining as well there are door handles just a perfect just a very perfect casting for a 1960s aroma yeah Love the paint job as well. Chrome base. Now there are now there is the trunk. Now normally a lot of wagon castings will have some interesting things to uh, note on. This one let me see. Now this one doesn't have anything special. Just this um part of the body coming down to the uh, interior piece. This is just a line to connect all the pieces together, the base, the, the interior, and the body itself. So yeah, to make it much more easier to assemble. Awesome casting. Next up, Fiat 500. Gosh, I'm gonna do this every time around. 2016 Ford 5, sorry, Fiat 500X. Uh, this one has, this is the, uh, cross over variant of the Fiat 500. I have the Hot Wheels one right here. Yeah, total, both are totally different. Blue metallic paint job with that crossover look at the, at the bottom. Uh, colored silver or gray. Here's the back. Love the taillight detailing. There are the roof racks. Yeah, yeah. This is a roof rack. Um, here's the front. The grill isn't. Um, I suppose in real life the grill is like this. So I think the Matchbox didn't bother bother to like uh, color color that black. Anyway, I love the front headlights. The camera is blurry. Great interior. So this casting came out in 27, 2017. This one in 2018. And this one also in 2017. These castings aren't that old. Next one, my most favorite car from this five pack, aside from the Camaro, is this the Ford Mustang uh, LX SSP. Now, recently I did a review on this car. Do check it out. So I don't really bother reviewing this thing once again, but I'll just say this: uh, on the on the original review video, I actually thought this was like a Ford Crown Vic, but I was wrong. It was a Ford Mustang. 
like a freaky Mustang. Look, it, it's probably more. Well, it's probably the Fox body Mustang. I don't know, but it's the LX SSP police variant of the Ford Mustang. So yeah, it was just like brain dead for a second. Like what? Because I thought this was a Ford Crown Vic. Because I never seen a Mustang cop car like this, especially from the. 90s. Yeah, it's definitely a fox body. I don't know. Alright, last car for this pack pack is a Porsche Cayman. Apparently, uh, on that original review, I complained about the details not being that great, but hey, this is just a basic matchbox casting, nothing to be, uh, you know mad I think to be like uh how do I say this I think to complain much honestly anyway let's just appreciate the little details that matchbox matchbox still put um there's a the Porsche insignia here are the details there's a I mean there's the headlight this is a this is colored in a gold copper color apparently here is the side with the matchbox, five spoke rims. See, both of them are seen right there. One of my favorite Porsches, I can't. This is one of my favorite Porsches, a regular Cayman. I mean, obviously, I love the GT4. There is a license plate again. Let's read it out. It says C1 1817. Could be a reference to something but I don't know this casting came out in 2015 probably the this one came out in all right so these two are the oldest ones probably they are like a year apart like this one came in 2015 2015 this one in uh, 2017 2015 2016 I'm forgetting all the day, I'm forgetting the years, 2018, 2018. So they're around one or two years apart. So yeah, they didn't really ch like chose uh, like a really really new Matchbox casting or that much of a old casting. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this review, a uh, relook review. Um, quite enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. Now, what do I really think about this five pack once again? Uh, well, yeah, I actually definitely, you know, uh, appreciate all of the cars that were included in this five pack. It, it, I, you know, I can use them for many purposes, and even if I make a dowry on these five, these Matchbox cars right here would be a perfect fit, especially the Camaro and the Fiat and the Cayman, as well as a, as well as the Ford fairly right there so uh yeah thank you for watching this review i'll see you guys in the next video